Hi, I'm Seder Phil Brucato, and this is The Dark Woods at Crab Jab Studios. The idea that, uh, that Julie, uh, Julie Burrow, the, uh, the curator of Crab Jab Studios, came up with is the idea of the dark woods as the roots of fairy tales, the, uh, the inspiration. We're, we're so used to the Disneyfication and the, the nursery version of fairy tales where the, the idea that fairy tales are an escape from the real world, that they're uh, someplace that people live happily ever after. If you actually get into the roots of fairy tales from all, from, from all cultures, they're actually rather dark. One of the reasons that they're so dark is literally up until the 20th century, late 1800s, early 1900s, the majority of people in the world lived without electricity. They lived, as, as the, uh, the, the title of the book says, in a world lit only by fire. And so darkness and the shadows contained a lot of, it contained mystery, it contained medicine. They also contained these seductive promises of the things that you might see if you dared to go there. If you get into a lot of those fairy tales, particularly of the German uh, variety where, uh, where a large part of the country was actually composed of, of deep, dark forests, there's the idea that you don't want to venture off the path because if you do venture off the path, then something terrible is going to happen. Something terrible will find you there. But yet, as we found through the, the, the endless appeal of the adventures off the path, we're always drawn to go there. So when, when Julie and I started talking about this and she'd mentioned the idea to me, I said, yeah, I would love to explore that because I realized going into the dark woods, it's, it's, it's a journey, it's a vision quest. It's that place where you stop being a child and start risking being an adult. And as a lot of those stories tell us, you may be destroyed in the process, but at least you will transform yourself in some meaningful way. And so when we began deciding what sorts of pieces we wanted to have, what mission statement we wanted to give our artists, we said we wanted to explore the idea of journey. And that's what these pieces do. Uh, there were probably, I'm sure by now you've, you've seen the various pieces starting over at this side and, and looping around coming in here to the heart of the forest it takes you the visitor on a journey further into the dark woods where you encounter the companions the the wild spirits the witches the beast folk who lead you challenge you and who maybe you eventually become and so what the artists we're working with here is the idea of going further in to yourself, exploring and transforming into something greater than, different than the person you were before. So that's, that's what we wanted to bring to this, uh, what we wanted to bring to this show. And I think our artists, I, I'm very happy with the job that, uh, that, our, that our artists have done. Uh, said, as, as you've seen, we're using a, a variety of different media uh, and we're also working with some new artists. So one in particular, Masha Sadari, who's a, a photographer who uh, I, I encountered her work on the internet a few years ago. Another one of the ideas that we were working with that we wanted to see what people would do, uh, what, what, uh, what our artists would do with that was the idea of the, the dark woods as a metaphor for the unconscious, for you know, going outside of your comfort zone and finding the deeper layers within yourself as well as externally in the woods. So I'd written up a, about a, about a page-long artistic mission statement, uh, which we talked about the dark woods as the metaphor for the unconscious, saying that we wanted to get into the, not necessarily the uglier, but the more challenging side of fairy tales. I said that we wanted to get away from the pretty, and we wanted to get into the gritty. Uh, one of the other things which you probably noticed as well is I wanted to have some live performance here as well. Uh, the, with our models, Inky and Sam and, uh, and Zan, our painter, I said that I wanted to have them uh, doing a dance, doing an interplay with the space and the people and the works in it uh, to bring that out and, and show that transformation as well. At the same time, we also said that I, want, I, I told them, I want to see what you do with it. I don't want to tell you what to do. I want to see what you do with these ideas. And so everyone basically has. Uh, there was a little bit of discussion with a few of the artists, but for the most part, they had complete creative freedom. For the most part, uh, given them something and let them run with it. We did tell the artists, go outside of your comfort zone. You know, don't, don't give us pretty fair. I love what Amy Brown, if you haven't seen it already, look at the work that Amy Brown has done over here because it is so different 
from the, from the cute, stripy fairies. And I'm not criticizing her work. I love her. I love her work. But what she did here, she went outside of her comfort zone, and I love the results. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you to Kay for, for, for taping us. Thank you to Julie for, for, uh, for, for hosting this and for having the idea in the first place and for creating Crab Jab Studios, which is just awesome. Thank you to all the artists, both the ones who are here and the ones who are elsewhere. Thank you all. You did great work. It's, it's wonderful working with you. And thank you guys so much for coming here and for being here.